Yo, what's good you guys? Welcome back to another video. I've been trying to make this video for so long, but you guys know the weather has been crazy. 110 degrees today. It's 10 in the morning right now and it's already 100 degrees and it's gonna be 110 today. Like I said in one of my recent videos, I've been trying to film this video and I wanted to make it like good. Like I wanted to have a lot of skating in this video, but I don't know how much skating there's gonna be in this video, if there's gonna be any, because the weather's just crazy. But anyway, this video is the long awaited Baker skateboard review. And in honor of Baker, we got Baker 3 playing on the TV in the background. Now when I made the setup um, video for this board, you guys loved it, that video blew up. It's at like 60 or 70,000 views now, which is insane. You guys loved that video, you guys wanted me to like make a follow up video on how the board skated because like I said, I've never had a Baker board before. So this is my first Baker board. And I'll start off by saying this, this is one of the best boards I've ever skated. I got this board like well over a month ago now. I haven't been skating it for that long though. Like I said, the weather's been crazy, so um, I haven't been skating this like since I got it. I got it over a month ago, but I've only been skating it for about, I'd say about like maybe a good like two, three weeks. But in that time of skating this, I think I've skated it enough to make a review on it now. And honestly, it still looks pretty fresh. Like there's not really too many marks or anything on it, but the marks aren't important. What's important is like how it's lasting, how it's holding up, the pop, and, and just things like that. So I'm gonna try and touch on like all the important parts of the board. Starting with probably the most important aspect of the board is the pop. The pop is lasting me so long. I'm trying to try and like get my camera to focus on this. It's not even really focusing. But look at that, can you guys see that? The pop's like barely worn down at all. And you guys know, you guys have been watching my videos. You guys know that I've been doing like so many tray flips and just tricks that you know would wear down the pop a lot. And on this board, the pop is still so good. Look at that, this is the tail of the board, and look at the pop, barely worn down at all. So the pop is lasting me so good. Another thing with boards with me, like every time I get a new board and I go skate for like a couple days, I'll have pressure cracks, like big ones too. Even if I skate something small, like in my Shane shoe review, I skated this little manual pad spot. One of my favorite spots, it's like a manual pad, and it drops down a couple feet. Like even if I skate something small like that, I'll get pressure cracks. But on this, I have no pressure cracks at all. It kinda is trippy because like I said, almost every board that I get, I get pressure cracks right away. But on this board, no pressure cracks at all. Like I said, you guys have seen me skate this board. If you guys are new to my channel, you guys obviously haven't seen me skate this, but I've been skating this a lot. So the fact that there is no pressure cracks on this at all, kinda blows my mind. And that's kinda the reason why I said this is one of the best boards that I've ever skated. Also, if you guys have been watching me for a while, you guys know that I said that I didn't really like the shape of bigger boards, which is why I never really skated them. This is my first one. But the shape of this one is, is pretty good. It's really good. I got used to it super fast. And the concave, I also got used to really fast. And the concave on this is mellow concave, I believe, is what they call it. Um, So it's not too flat and it's not too much concave. Another thing, this board is really durable. Like there's been a few times where I've hit the nose of this on something and I was just expecting it to be like chip or dented or something and there's nothing here, like nothing at all. Like no chips, no dents. This board is super, super durable. Like it kind of blows my mind that there's not really anything wrong with this board yet. Usually after a couple weeks of skating a board, it's like it just gets worn down, you know, from skating. Even like at that manual pad spot I was talking about, um, I was trying nollie to manual and on one of the nollies, I fucked up and I didn't pop it early enough. And my, the nose of my, the nose of the board just smacked into the manual pad so hard and I, I was expecting to turn around and just look at my board and have there be like a chip or just like a dent or something. And there was, it was, there was nothing there. Like I said, it's really trippy that like that didn't do anything. Look at that. It just looks perfect. Like it just looks new still. But honestly though, the one, the main thing that like shocks me about this board is that there's no pressure cracks. Like I don't understand how there's no pressure cracks. I've been skating like drops and stairs, just landing super hard on my board, and there's just no pressure cracks, which kinda is really weird. Like, I don't I don't know how there's no pressure cracks. Every board I've skated had pressure cracks within the first few days of skating it, except for this one. Okay, as you guys know, this is like the metallic, I don't know if this is paint or what it is, but like, it kinda chips off a little bit, and um, in my setup video, someone was like, everything about this board is great except for the metallic color because it comes off. And I was like, okay, it can't be that bad. But literally every time like I hold the board like this and I'm gonna like throw down to go skate, um, especially when it's hot, it rubs off my on my hand and it like, it just stains my hand red. The color does like peel off a little bit differently, but it doesn't 
it's not too bad. The only thing is like when I grab it and then I look at my hand and my hand's red. It's really weird. Um, but that's not a big deal. Like I don't really care. I don't really like that doesn't really bother me too much. Um, but it's something to point out because a lot of you guys were saying you guys really like this like metallic red color. But yeah, that's the only thing. It just like stains your hand. Another thing is the size of this feels a lot better than other boards I've skated. Like I skate 825s, but this one just feels the most comfortable. I don't know if it's because of the shape or the concave or what, but like this is like one of the best 825s that I've had. It's just so comfortable. Another thing is this board broke in really fast. Um, I, usually I hate skating like brand new fresh boards, like first day skating a new board. Um, but this one broke in really fast. I did like a few tray flips, a few kick flips and it was broken in already. I know I keep talking about like the pressure crack thing, but because I have no pressure cracks, that makes me feel like this board is so durable. Like I feel like I can skate anything with this board and it won't break. Now obviously all boards break, I know this, but this one just feels a lot more sturdy and a lot more durable. Like really the pressure crack thing blows my mind. Like there's this five stair that I love to skate because it's like, it's kind of a big five stair. Like it's bigger than a normal five stair. It's almost like a six stair because of how big it is, but I love skating that thing. And the fact that I've been skating that and this has no pressure cracks is just crazy. Like it's wild. I've been doing a lot of switch skating too. So I'll show you guys the nose. That's the nose of the board. Like the pop on the nose and the tail. It's honestly like the day I first got it. It's like not worn down at all. So that's the nose still looking fresh. This is the tail still looking fresh. Look at that. Look at this barely worn down at all. Like I said, I've been doing a lot of tray flips and a lot of tricks that would just wear down the tail. You guys can see right here where I do like the tray flips and everything, but like looking at it like this. So if you guys have never had a bigger board, I highly recommend them. Like I said, this is my first one and I love it. I feel like this board's gonna last me quite a long time. You guys know, like if you guys are subscribers on my channel, if you guys have been watching me, you guys know that I usually keep boards for as long as I can. And I feel like this one is gonna last me so long unless it like gets run over by a car or something. The one thing that I do wanna do is like I haven't been really skating too many rails with this, just like ledges and like small skate park rails. But I wanna skate some rails with this and do like some lip slides because every time I do a lip slide, I always feel like the board flexes a lot when I do a lip slide. Um, but I haven't done that trick with this board yet because I haven't been skating as much as I would like to because the weather is stupid. Um, but I wanna do some lip slides on this and just like see if it flexes as much as a normal board does. I don't know what it is about that trick, but like every time I do it, I feel like I just do lip slides wrong. But the board always flexes and it feels like weak. But this board, like I said, feels sturdy, so I wanna go try some like lip slides on this um, and just see how sturdy it feels. But other than that, this thing, I, I, I just love it, I love it. And I know grip tape has nothing to do with the board, but like, I'm pretty happy at how clean my grip tape looks after all this time. But yeah, that's the board, man, I love it. Honestly, one of the best boards I've ever skated. Look, can you guys like see like, just me holding the board, my hand is kind of red. Let me see if I can like show you guys, maybe if I rub it. So if I rub the paint, or this metallic, I don't know what it is, it like leaves my hand red. Like I said though, that's not a big problem. Anyway though, this board, I love it, it's sick. Like I said, just one of the best boards I've ever skated. In my um, setup video for this board, someone said that they only skated Baker boards. And I see why, like, I, I feel like I've been missing out on skating these because this is my first one. My next board, I really want to be a Baker board, but I kind of want it to be something else just so I can make like a setup video because you guys have been requesting so many boards for me to set up and use and skate, but I don't know. Yeah, let me know in the comments. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of Baker boards. Baker, if you see this, look it up. Send me some boards. Reynolds, Reynolds, if you see this, send me some boards. Anyway though, guys, I think that's gonna wrap it up for this video. I give this board a 10 out of 10, honestly. Super durable, the pop is lasting a long time. The concave feels really good, the shape is really good. Even though I said I didn't like the shape of Baker boards, this one is like, okay, like I didn't really mind it at all. So yeah, 10 out of 10 board for me right here. And the color, the color is just sick, like that metallic red is just super sick especially in the sunlight it just looks crazy imagine i go skate and i skate something small like a four star and i just snap it i would definitely let you guys know if that happens but yeah the main important things for me um is the pop and the fact that there is no pressure cracks like it just makes the board feel so sturdy and durable i love it but anyway like i said that's gonna wrap it up for this video i highly recommend baker boards if you haven't had one definitely go get one just make sure the shape the size and the concave is like comfortable for you and um you're gonna love it honestly let me know in the comments what board you guys want me to set up and make a review on next and um yeah other than that i'm gonna end the video if you guys liked it leave a like subscribe if you're new and um i'll see you guys in my next video peace <laughs>